I thought I would make this video just to explain a bit more about why I travel so much and why I enjoy traveling. And it's not necessarily because I just want to do fun things, although that is part of it. There's actually a few things going on here. So firstly, you've got to understand that at the end of the day, like when you, when you die, the only thing that really matters is what you did. It's not what you had in terms of your possessions, your assets, your money, your cars, whatever. None of that matters because that all just fades away. It's more what you did and the, the people's lives you impacted, the memories you created and how you felt. So if you can find a way, whatever that way is, to be able to travel, you know, a lot more often, it makes sense to do it. The angle of this is all wrong. I've set this, I'm getting used to this tripod and like framing up shots better. So yeah, it makes sense to do it. If you can find a way to travel and you enjoy traveling, obviously not everyone does enjoy traveling, but if you, if you do enjoy experience, new experiences and meeting new people and seeing new things, it makes sense to go traveling. And let's leave, let's leave out of the equation how you're going to do it for just a minute and just consider why you absolutely should if you enjoy it. Now there's a lot of people who would be watching this and they'd think, well I don't want to travel. I'd rather stay in my job or you know, you know, or my studies or whatever. I'd rather stay in my home country, see my friends and not have to deal with the unknown, right? So the fear of the unknown, the insects, the animals, the culture, the different languages, the different foods and the different political situations and, and dangers and whatever. Most people don't want to have to deal with that and that's why a lot of people don't travel. But if that doesn't bother you, and if you're more excited, on the other hand, by new experiences, meeting new people, you know, seeing new things, the, the stuff that is exciting, the, the real sort of lifeblood that really will give you energy and make you feel better and, and help you to grow as a person, to like meet new people and to see new things, that's the stuff that is going to make you grow as a person and progress and actually find who you are and discover your purpose. It's not going to be sitting in an office you're not going to find your purpose there and you need to do something different in my opinion at least and I've always been of the opinion that if something if you're excited about the idea of something but that excitement is mixed with fear that's a very good indicator that the idea is a good one you know so like when I considered going traveling for any longer than a week or so I would always get this gut feeling of tremendous excitement about the you know the idea of traveling for so long but also it would be mixed with a bit of fear. And that's not necessarily fear of the traveling itself, it's just fear of the unknown, of not knowing what will happen. Who will I meet? You know, what will I do? Will the apartment be okay? Will there be enough food to eat? You know, the right type of food, obviously I'm a vegan. So when you, when you consider everything, it's much better to face the challenges and just go into the unknown than it is to stay in your comfort zone and do what you already know is comfortable and you know is, is safe and easy. Because like we know, we know for a fact, and you can look up the stats yourself, but a huge number of heart attacks are suffered by people, at least in the US, on Monday morning when people have to wake up and go to a job they hate. Okay, so we know that. That tells you that the system is broken in one way. It tells you that, that work is not necessarily fulfilling people as much as it used to, or at all. You know, it's not really, unless you're doing something you really love, and you're really truly happy and on a Monday morning you get excited to go to work you're doing it wrong you're wasting your time and so so we know that we also know a few other things so we know that on people's deathbeds this is like uh, like a summary of loads of people who have been on their deathbeds and they've been asked what do you regret the most and it's almost never the things that they've actually done it's always the things they haven't done people will always say I wish I'd done I wish I'd gone on that trip or that road trip. I wish I'd gone on that holiday. I wish I would I wish I'd spent more time with my kids, right? Whatever it is. It's always regressing something they didn't do as opposed to something they did do. So because we know that, because we have interviewed people on their deathbeds and they've told like a low a huge majority of them have said, I regret not doing these things. And you know, one of the common ones is traveling. I regret not traveling. I regret not spending time with my family as much, or I regret not taking risks. It's not, it's the not doing of something that people tend to regret when they die. So because we know that, right? We know that in the vast majority of cases, jobs and corporations are not fulfilling people. We know that when people die, they regret what they didn't do. And we also know that when you spend your time, say if you were to spend 
a month and every day of that month you did something different, something new, a new experience, like one day you hiked up a mountain, the next day you went scuba diving, the next day you went to a, a beach party, the next day you went fishing on a, I don't know, you went, you, maybe the next day you went whitewater rafting, the next day you practiced yoga at a mountain retreat. What, what I'm saying is if, if every day for that month you did something completely different and exciting and new, that month would feel like forever. And you know this because as a kid, when you had like your summer holidays or your summer break, every day felt like an eternity because you were constantly doing things that were new. And then what happens is you graduate from school, you get a job, suddenly all these new experiences that you were having every summer or every weekend even, turn into just a routine. And what you find that when you, is that when you enter a routine like that, when you're going to the same job every week for years and years on end, the time flies by. And before you know it, you're 30, then you're 40, then you're 60, and, and your whole life's gone. Because you haven't done anything different. You've stayed in the same job, with the same people, in the same town, for years on end, without doing anything different. And we know that. We know that the time flies faster when you do that. But when you spend a week even just doing brand new things and getting the most and like living the most out of each minute of every day, that will feel like time standing still for you. So what would you rather? Like, we know, those, we know those three things. We know that if we fill our lives with new experiences and we're constantly doing exciting things, time will feel like it's moving slower. We'll feel like we have many, many more years than people who don't do that and people who get stuck in a routine and then before they know it, they're retiring and they've not done anything with their lives. They've done nothing. I mean, who's gonna care if you became senior vice president manager of some company? Like, no one will care. The only person that will regret things is you, and you'll regret what you didn't do when you had the chance. So that's my opinion, this is my philosophy on travel, this is why I gave up any career or corporate life or corporate jobs, I gave up all of that, I quit. And I followed my passions, I followed my dreams, my heart, and that's led to what I'm doing now. I have various websites and channels and, and I, I share my information with millions of people through my different channels. And I love it, like I genuinely love it. And But not only that, that empowers me and enables me to travel whenever I want. So I don't know guys, I could never consider getting a job. At this point in time, I think I'm unemployable. And I've made myself that way because I know that you won't, in, my, in most cases, at least for me, I know for certain for me, but in, in the majority of cases for other people as well, you won't find your true passion in a job. It's not found there. It's not found in the between the four walls of an office. It's found when you're traveling and discovering yourself, and even if you don't want to travel, when you're just doing things you enjoy doing, when you're following your that, that playful sense of creativity and curiosity inside you, that was there when you were a kid. It's there in all of us, but at some point during the journey, we it's shut down. We're told that you have to be quiet, sit down, get a job, and just not listen to how you feel, because that's allegedly, that's the system that we have to follow, but it's not. It really isn't the system anymore. You can decide what you can do. If you don't want to get a job, that's you don't need to. You, there are ways in 2018, countless ways of making money, certainly making enough money to follow your dreams and travel. And actually the opportunity is there to make far more than that. Now, this isn't that's not what this video is about. I could teach you how to make passive income and how to make money online and all that stuff, but that's for another video. I, in this video, I just wanted to share my opinions on the philosophy of travel and why maybe if you're considering considering your options between you know going down the path of a career and climbing up the corporate ladder or climbing your personal desire ladder I guess or you know just following what you want to do and going out and doing the things that scare you because at the end of the day you're you're not going to regret traveling even if it's only for a year but you will regret it if you don't 